Hey, Will. We, we talked a little after the game, but I, I want to get an overview from you from your perspective about how the special teams is is doing. What's your perspective on it? Because a lot of it just seems just solid. You guys going about business, doing your jobs. Yeah, I. it's been a lot of fun. This year has been a lot of fun. Um, as a special teams unit, we take pride in just getting our job done. Um, we're a group of people that oftentimes doesn't get a lot of spotlight and that's kind of what we like unless it's Sam Vanderhart running a fake punt or something um, we we pride ourselves on just going out and getting the job done and and getting off the field and being a support to to the teammates so it's it's a simple job and we take pride in that so yeah when your number has been called most of the time, the, the special teams guys have been able to come through with that complimentary football uh, amount. What's what's it been like seeing offense do it, defense do it, special teams do it, and doing it all together yeah. so far through through seven games? It's been awesome. That's something that Coach Papinga really emphasizes. Um, we have our special teams meeting every day, and from every game, he'll pull up a certain series or something where you see like a kickoff get tackled inside the 20 or a punt pin and then you'll see that defensive series and then how that translates to the offensive series. Um, it's cool. You hear football talked about as like the greatest team sport and that really goes to prove it where you have the offense making plays, you have the defense making plays and then you have special teams which is a mix of both um, and it's just cool seeing everything come together. Will, when you have missed kicks this year, they seem to have gone, I guess, right for you. Is there something in your, in your I guess, your kicking motion that seems to push it that direction? Does that make sense? Um, not really, no. It's a, uh, kicking's a funny, a funny little game where you can hit a ball really well and have it not go through the uprights. Um, most of my misses this year have been close but not in, um, and whether it goes to the right or to the left, I, there's not a specific thing in my swing or a specific piece that makes it do that. Um, it's sometimes you push the ball a little bit, it goes to the right. Sometimes you pull it and it goes to the left. It's kind of like a golf swing. Um, but there, I wouldn't say there's a specific motion or a specific piece of my technique that makes it go a certain way. Sometimes you put the ball up and it just it doesn't go into the upright. So I'll control what I can control as part of that. Uh, also in the past, Lee Johnson has been around the program and helped out with kicking. Is he still helping you out? Is he around the team still? Um, Lee's always around, yeah. he He's in his role upstairs, um, so he's not able to do a ton with us, but he's awesome to talk to and to kind of pick his mind about his experience in the NFL and at BYU. Um, so we see him all the time, but he's he's doing his role upstairs. So you guys don't have a specific kicking coach then or anything like that? Is that, is that what I'd not, not a specific coach for kicking, no. Thank you. Okay, let's go Mitch and then J. Drew. All right, Mitch seems to be having some internet issues. Let's go J. Drew and then Sean, and then we'll get Mitch when he's back on. Hey, Will, as, as a golfer, I, I hate going from elevation. I think I can hit the ball a long way, and then I go to sea level, and reality hits. Is there a change for a kicker with you going to Florida this week in that regard? Um, technically, I'm sure there is. I doubt anyone will notice any difference. Um, sometimes you see kickers come to Provo, or when we go to Laramie, and kickers think it's going to be this drastic change where you get another 10 or 15 yards of range. Um, I haven't noticed it to be that extreme. Sometimes you'll see the ball carry a little more elevation. Um, by rule, the ball will hang up in the air a little bit longer when you're at a lower elevation, but it's not going to be enough that anyone notices. And then I wanted to just ask you about your teammate Jake Retzlaff. Um, how would you describe him, his personality, and maybe kind of his leadership uh, skills as he's become more and more the face of the BYU football program? Yeah, Jake's a stud. Um, coming, So me and Jake came into the program at the same time, and we did our study hall hours. And uh, the first thing I noticed about him is he's always like, everyone wants to talk to Jake. Everyone wants to, to have a conversation with him, and he kind of 
is he's not better than anyone on the team. Like he he is friends with everyone. Everyone's excited about him and friends with him. Um, even to the point where like I don't know if you watched any of the softball games last year, um, but in the BYU softball games you could see him and Trayson usually behind the the backstop and they're just cheering for the softball team. And that's probably the best representation of Jake that I've seen um, where he hey, would go to the softball games and then before you knew it, there was a group of 15 guys plus at those softball games and we're all just cheering and having fun. So he's kind of the, the head of that. And that's, that's probably the funnest part about Jake. Thanks, good answer. Go ahead, Sean. I got I got a follow up on that real quick. Uh, Will, were you ever a part of that gang of thirteen or fifteen? Of course. Hung out of <laughs> Yo, I went to a few of those games. Yeah, I dragged my wife to a couple of those games too, and now she's into it. So, yeah, we we had a lot of fun. And part of that too was um, our strength staff this off season encouraging us to go and support some of the other teams. Um, so yeah, I got to go to a bunch of those, and my wife and I go to a lot of the baseball games too. So. We'd, we'd go and, and participate in both of those. Well, it's, it's the connection between you guys and the other sports on campus, I think, is fairly mutual. I see a lot of softball, baseball, so soccer players, volleyball players, everything else at, at football games and kind of supporting you guys as well. And, and they're all saying really good things about this team for, I guess, fairly obvious reasons. Kalani likes to talk a lot about staying hungry and humble, though. As, as one of those leadership council members that you are, what's kind of the, the trick? Do you guys have like little things that you focus on to keep this team grounded as the wins keep piling up and, and you start seeing the rankings and Jake just barely got named like some national award this morning and all of that. Like, are there things that you guys do to kind of keep that hungry and humble type of mentality? Um, yes, everyone has a job, everyone has a role and this team's really good at not getting past that. Um, where we, I'm focused on going out and kicking footballs. Jake's focused on playing quarterback. And all the different things that come are exciting and they're fun, and, but that's not, it's not where our focus is. Um, and I think part of that too is just how close this team is, um, where we're not chasing these things. Sometimes it can be an issue if people want those individual things and that's the main goal but that's not the main goal for us um, this year it's kind of felt like we're just a big old group of friends going out and and performing to the best of our ability so i think that's also a big piece of it all right let's go mitch harper will uh, in that spot where the game was tied and you had an opportunity to, to give byu the lead in the fourth quarter how much do you enjoy those moments as you experienced on friday so much fun it's it's awesome that kick specifically too we had the injury timeout and then we went to a commercial break and i felt like me and sam vanderhaar were standing on that field for about five minutes before we kicked and it's so cool to be able to just be out there and have the whole fan environment um the stadium packed out and we just go out there with with your boys and go and do your job um it's cool after Part of like, I guess what shows how close of a team we are is after those kicks, I can't even do anything because I'm getting swarmed by all of our old linemen um, and they take their job as seriously as I do in just protecting for the, the kicks. So it's cool, it's fun. It's fun being out there, get the job done, run off with the boys. Jake's there high-fiving us. A bunch of other guys are there high-fiving us. Um, so it just adds to that. We've seen you make a 54-yarder this year. How, how far do you feel your range goes th this season? We'll see. Depends on, on circumstance. Um, when the ball gets cold, it doesn't fly as long. Um, I still, I'm confident going as far back as my coaches will put me. Um, back 60, somewhere in there, we'll see. But for me, I usually don't have to worry about about that they'll they'll put me out for kicks that they know i can make and i won't miss short so I'll put the ball through no matter where they put me go ahead jake well i wanted to ask you about your uh, kicking mate i guess is the best way to probably term it with sam <laughs> vanderhart you're both transfers into this program what's your relationship like i know he holds for you on your spot on your kicks 
Yeah, we have a really good relationship. We, uh, I got to host him when he visited, um, and I think we see special teams very similarly. Um, we take our jobs very seriously. Uh, for him, he didn't hold last year at Pitt. He held, or when he was playing at Pitt, he held in practice, um, but he wasn't their main holder. Um, but when he came in here, that was our big focus, and we got really close spending time and getting him comfortable holding, catching snaps, hitting his spot. Um, I think I would say that Sam Vanderhart's probably taken the most reps holding than anyone in the country between now and last January. Um, going out like five days a week with the snappers um, and just making sure that we're dialed on everything from him hitting his spot and turning his laces. Um, and we have a lot of fun with going out. I would text him and we'd talk about how like the day before, because with kicking you can't just kick every day or you'll kind of damage your leg a little bit. You have to watch your reps. And we always talked about how the morning that we're going out to kick in the off season, we we're getting just super excited to go out and and get better at our craft, um, where you kind of get a little giddy on Monday night because you know that Tuesday's a kicking day. And that's how it is for us. That's how it still is in the season, where we're just excited to go out there and, and do our job. Okay, well, I think that's all the questions for today. Thank you so much for being here. Perfect, thank you.